Hello and welcome to this tutorial on deploying PHP Guestbook application with Redis in Kubernetes. This tutorial shows you how to build and deploy a simple multi-tier web application using Kubernetes. Now you can also find this example on Kubernetes official website. Just go to the following link and you'll find this example. Now what we're performing in this lab, first we will set up the Redis leader by creating Redis deployment and service. Then we set up the Redis follower and guestbook frontend. After that, we'll expose the guestbook frontend. And in the last, we'll clean up all the deployments and services. So let's start with the first step, which is creating deployment for Redis. Now we don't need to actually create this file in our local system. Instead, we just simply run the below command kubectl apply-f and give the address of this YAML file and it will create the deployment. And we can check it by running kubectl get pods command and you'll see its status as running. After creating deployment, you need to create service for this deployment to connect to the application frontend to its backend. We'll use the same command kubectl apply-f and give the address of this service YAML file and it will create the service. And just like deployment, we can check the status of the service by running kubectl get service command. Next, we need to set up the Redis followers to make our application highly available and meet the traffic demands. And just like Redis leader deployment, we will apply the Redis follower deployment as well. By using the same command kubectl apply-f and giving the address of the deployment, we can create a Redis follower deployment. Let's check the status and you will see that it is now creating two more replicas for Redis. And if you check again after some time, you'll see their status as running. Now we need to create a service for this as well by using the same apply command. So let's just copy the command and paste it here and press enter and you'll see the service being created. And to verify the service actually running or not, you can run the kubectl get service command and you should see your newly created service here. Now that we have the Redis storage for our guestbook up and running, next thing we need to do is to start the guestbook web server and like the Redis followers, the front end is deployed using Kubernetes deployment. So first we will create the deployment for guestbook front end the same way using kubectl apply-f command. Once it is created, then we will check the list of pods to verify that the three front-end replicas are running because we set the values of replicas in our file 3. Now to do that, copy this command and paste it in your terminal and you'll see three replicas are in creating status. Wait for some time and run it again to verify their running status. Now we need to create service for this as well. So use the same apply command and give the address of the service YAML file and we are good to go. Now we have all the services and pods are running. So let's view the front end service using kubectl port forward command. You can copy and paste this command as it is and the response should be like this. Once you got the response, you go to the browser and type in HTTP localhost colon 8080 and press enter and you'll see your guestbook application. Once it's running, that means all the things are working fine. Now the other thing you can do is to scale up and down the number of frontend pods. Type in the following command kubectl scale deployment frontend and set the replicas equals to 5. And now when you check the status, you will see three more replicas are added because we set the value to five and we already have two replicas running. Now, if you want to scale it down, you can just change the values of replicas here and it will scale it down to whatever the value you gave. In this case, it is two. 
Now we're done with the deploying application and if you're not using it any further, you have to clean it up. Otherwise it will keep using the resources. So run the kubectl delete command followed by the name deployment dash L and app equals to Redis. Do the same with service as well to delete the service and deployment for Redis and delete the deployment and service for frontend as well using the same command. Double check it with kubectl get pods command and you'll see no resources found message which means all the deployments and services are deleted. That is it for this video on deploying application from your local system in Kubernetes. I hope you like this tutorial. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.